Hello, today we are implementing a simple IPNS solution. Uh, you'll be able to use it in your own project, but uh, let's start why would you use it over IPFS. So if you've been using IPFS, you probably realized that you can't edit files in your IPFS repositories. And uh, if you want to make some changes, you have to create a new repository. So it leads to a new CID, so those changes won't apply in your existing projects. So it's a big problem. And if you want to be able to make some changes in your project, you'd have to use IPNS. So how does IPNS work? Uh, it basically works like a proxy. So you can create your own IPFS repository first and then connect it to your IPNS link and uh, use this link in your application instead of the IPFS links. The IPNS link leads to currently selected IPFS repository and uh, you can change the destination over time. So you can start with uh, your initial IPFS folder and then if you want to change it and use a different one, uh, you are free to do this with uh, one comment. So now let's implement the whole solution. So we need a few things before we start. Uh, you need to install IPFS and you need a directory that you want to upload to IPFS. In my case, it's going to be the music folder. So we can see what's inside. Uh, it's a real life solution that uh, you'd use for an NFT collection. So we have uh, all of those files with uh, metadata information about uh, a given NFT. So if you go inside, to, for example, this one, uh, you can see that we have the file with all of the information. So having the directory you want to upload to IPFS, we can just go back and uh, go back one step. And now we should start the IPFS daemon. So it's IPFS daemon. Okay, and when it's ready, uh, we can leave it here. And uh, in a new uh, comment tab, uh, we can uh, add the folder music to IPFS. So it's a very simple command, just IPFS uh, add. R is recursive because it wants to add the whole folder and name of the folder. In our case, it's music. You can see that it printed out the results of the operation. So we have uh, the seeds of, uh, of the separate files. So one up to six. And we have the CID for the whole directory. And it's something that we need to copy because uh, we'll upload it to IPNS. So now to create the IPNS link for this collection, uh, we just type IPFS name publish. And here the slash IPFS slash CID, we just copy it. Here we'll need to wait for up to a few minutes. But in the meantime, we can make sure that our IPFS repository never disappears because that can happen on IPFS uh, when the files are no longer used and, and uh, the nodes uh, decide to clear them. So we'll use a IPFS pinning service uh, called Pinata and here we can click on upload select CID and paste the uh, CID of the whole uh, repository we uh, recently uploaded to IPFS and create a custom name so let's call it music version 1 and you can see that we have it in queue so it should be shortly available so for now we are done here and let's go back to our terminal Okay, and you can see that the IPNS link is ready. So uh, we have our IPFS address here as the second argument. And uh, here we have the IPNS address, which uh, we will be able to use in our applications. So and to see whether it uh, works, we can just go to our browser. And uh, if you use uh, Brave or something that supports uh, browsing uh, IPFS, we can just uh, type in IPNS in the link here. And you can see that we have uh, all of the files. But if your browser doesn't support this, uh, we have a different solution. You can just use the gateway link. So instead of this link, you just copy uh, this address with gateway.ipfs.io slash IPNS and here our CID. So our CID, we need to get back to the terminal and copy it again. 
So as we can see, sometimes we get uh, gateway timeouts here because it takes some time before it's published and available online here. So we would need to wait several minutes, uh, wait until it's ready. So let's go back to our IPNS uh, uh, link solution. And you can see that we have all those files here. So uh, they were uploaded to uh, IPNS and uh, we have our link and the uh, CID of the IPFS repository that the IPNS leads to. So it's this one and when we copy it and go back to Pinata, you can see that it's exactly the one we uploaded before. So now we are at the point in a project where we can use the IPNS link uh, to uh, load up the information we need in our project. But let's say that after a few weeks we decided to add more files to our directory. So let's uh, do this scenario. So we will just go back here, go to our directory, so to music, and here you can see that we have six files, and so we can create a new one. It can be an empty uh, file named seven. Now we can add the edited repository to IPFS again. So we use the command we used before. Okay, I need to go back one step and do this again. And we have a new CID, so we can see that it's a different one if you compare it to the previous one, because we have a new file. So if we change anything in our IPFS repository, we will always end up with a new CID. So now let's copy this CID and let's uh, add it to our IPNS address. So we'll use the publish commands. So it's IPFS name publish slash IPFS slash CID. So IPFS publish IPFS and the CID. Here we need to wait for a few minutes again. Okay, it's ready. So we can see that we have the same address here. So the same IPNS address. And uh, now if we refresh the IPNS page, uh, it should have the newest file. And uh, it says that it leads us to a different CID. So if we copy it and uh, go back to Pinata, we can see that it's not the music version one. It's actually the second revision of uh, our repository. So again, if you want to make sure that those files don't disappear, we just uh, need to copy the CID of IPFS and pin it using your favorite pinning service. And you can see that music v2 is ready, so we are done here. So let's go back to our terminal. So we are all done here, but you probably realized that we managed to uh, change the IPFS address in our IPNS link without specifying which IPNS address we want to change. We are able to do this because uh, underneath, uh, without even the need to provide it, uh, the IPFS uh, name publish command uses a IPFS key that was generated automatically. But if you want to, uh, for example, create a new IPNS address for a different project, then you need to specify your own key that you generate by yourself. So to generate a new key, we have to use the IPFS key gen and uh, insert your name here. So let's say it's second key. And uh, now we have a new key that we can use in our uh, IPFS name publish command. So let's go back to IPFS name publish with a new argument key. And here we provide the alias name of the key we just generated. So in our case, it's second key. And we have the output. We can see the IPFS CID that was uh, pinned to the IPNS link. And the IPNS link is a different one in comparison to the one we used before. So we can uh, go to our browser and you can see that uh, those both IPNSs are different, so they have different links, but they point to the same IPFS CID. So it's uh, if we copy it, you can see that it's the same one, 
is the one we used here as music version number two. So knowing this, you'll be able to implement a more flexible solution in your projects using the IPNS link so that you can change your repositories over time if you decide to. So that's it in this tutorial. Make sure to check our other videos and we are leaving all of the useful links in the description. Uh, thanks, see you next time.